Malcolm Allen hates this job. Each week he rolls his wheelie bin from his back garden in Birmingham to the front of his house. His street's part of a pilot scheme trialling wheelie bins in the city. It makes the whole area look like a, a rubbish tip, you know. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not attractive. It, 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 the appearance of the, of the whole street has uh, just been downgraded completely. But for every bin basher, the city council say there are far more wheelie worshippers. Sue Taft is one of them. I've got nine family members living in different houses across this pilot area so some of them were a bit skeptical at first because of having nowhere to put them and they look an eyesore now they've found places for them and they've got them they're not giving them back birmingham city council say they need to cut costs save money on landfill and increase recycling by the end of the decade we'd have had an eight million pound gap between the budget available to deliver the service and what the service is actually costing. These changes close that gap. I think wheelie bins would be quite good. Yeah, stop all the vermin. I prefer the black bags myself. That's my own opinion. The largest rollout of wheelie bins in Europe will cost £62 million. And if you live in Birmingham, they'll be in your street by Christmas 2015. Kath Mackey, BBC News, Birmingham.